Oh man, are you in for some cool physics today? Check this out. This is a piece of wire. If we were to take the ends of these wire and tie it to the, the ends of the battery, a current would get established within the wire. The current would flow and create a magnetic field in accordance with the right hand rule. If we were to bend that wire into a loop, all the contributions of the magnetic field would be steered right down the middle of the loop. If I were to make more loops, the magnetic field would become greater as it penetrated the loops. This device is called a solenoid. In 1819, an accidental discovery made by Hans Christian Orsted led to a greater understanding of the origin of magnetism. And what's more, it started to connect the principles of electricity to those of magnetism. Well, this demonstration is not new to you. I introduced it to you quite a while ago, actually. But what we're going to do today is collect all of the observations made by Orsted to further understand the origin and the magnitude of a magnetic field. So let's talk about some of those observations made by Orsted. Okay, the first observation and the most significant was the fact that a, a wire carrying no current does not deflect a compass needle. But what he recognized was that when there is a current, a compass needle is deflected. Well, if a compass needle deflects only under the influence of a magnetic field, then a current carrying wire must produce a magnetic field. Bam! That was it. That is the big discovery right there. That a current carrying wire produces a magnetic field. From that point on, huge numbers of observations were made regarding current carrying wires. So let's make a few more of these observations. If we look at this compass needle relative to the current carrying wire, we see that the needle deflects perpendicularly to the current. Well, that was a significant, that was a significant um, observation because everything up till now has been along the lines of the particular field, that being the gravitational field. The gravitational field and the magnetic field, and or excuse me, the electrical field, are all linear with the direction of motion. However, now we see the motion of charge going up and the field acting perpendicular to that. So that is a very significant observation to make. Another observation is the fact that if you flip the current, the magnetic field also flips. So the magnetic field is definitely tied to charge in motion. Two more observations made by Orsted right off the bat was the fact that if you run the current all the way up, watch the compass needle snap into place. Okay, it snaps pretty quickly. If you turn the current down, the compass needle reacts ever slower. So his observation was that the strength of the magnetic field was directly proportional to the current. The bigger the current, the bigger the field. The smaller the current, the weaker that magnetic field. Another observation made was that if the compass needle snapped into place, the further away you got, the weaker that field became. And so, the greater the distance, the weaker the field. So what we're observing is that the further away from our wire you get, the weaker the magnetic field gets. Well, these are the main observations made by Orsted. So let's write those down because that is the beginning of our entire lesson. So once again, Orsted's observations. Okay. First of all, he observed that a current produced a magnetic field. A current produced a magnetic field. That was absolutely huge. Recall how he did that. Recall how he made that observation. What he saw was that he saw a deflection of a compass needle. Okay, and that's what led to the idea that a wire or charge in motion 
re, uh, created or produced a magnetic field. Further observations showed that the current was perpendicular to the magnetic field. If you flip the current, if you flip I, you also flip the magnetic field. Change that direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field also changes. Two more observations was to show that the magnetic field was directly proportional to the current. So if the current went up, the strength of the magnetic field went up. And also, the magnetic field was inversely proportional to the radial distance away from that current carrying wire. These are the main observations made by Hans Christian Orsted in approximately 1819. Okay? Boy, that's some accident, huh? Well, these observations really, really got a ball moving extremely quickly. Because for a long time, scientists speculated there was a connection between electricity and magnetism. They just couldn't put their finger on it. Well, this demonstration right here made that connection. That connection simply was a charge in motion produces a magnetic field.